Okay, everybody, I am so excited today because I am joined by Annabeth Gish, aka Billy and Little Dixie, which is in theaters and on demand now. How are you doing today, Annabeth? I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm battling a little bit of a sinus infection, but I'm so that's why I'm all clogged up. But I, otherwise, I'm great. Oh no, you're a trooper for being here. Then thank you for joining. Uh, I love it. Um, so for a character like Billy, though, j- just for you in general with roles you've done, what is the first thing you do to prepare for a character like Billy? Well, you, what I love so much about this, this was kind of a um, a late in the game ask for me to join the film uh, from Jeremy Rosen, who I've worked with before. And and I immediately jumped at the chance because I loved the idea of a character, you know, Billy, who is a campaign advisor, who's dirty, kind of a dirty, dirty cop kind of a, a character and isn't, um, doesn't necessarily play by the rules. So, which is difficult when you're working with the cartel. <laughs> Oh, no, 100%. It's a yeah. really fascinating part, too, and you do it great. And I, I like what you're saying, too. She's a little dirty. It's interesting watching her in this film, too, because you want to know more about her as it goes on. Um, I'm interested to know, too, because you've played so many characters. Is When you're playing a role like Billy, do any prior characters you play before reappear? Like, do you find things you used in a character you've played before in the new characters that help in any way? Absolutely. That's a great question. Yes, for sure. I think um, as with anything uh, and and with maturity as we go with experience, it all kind of accrues and builds up. And and for Billy, I felt, you know, she's kind of a combination of my character in West Wing and also Sons mm-hmm. of Anarchy. You know, she's a badass, um, but she knows how to speak politically and it doesn't get her, get her to a good place in this film. But, but, you know, to have some cojones, you know, I, I really do, especially these days, like to play women who have some balls. So running off of that, then when you're doing acting just today and you've done it for a while, what keeps it fresh for you? Like, do you ever feel like getting stale? Like, or do you still have that same like excitement for every part you do now? Well, you know, I am fortunate in the sense that I endurance is a, a, a gift to be able to to kind of still be around and still find it fresh I would I would generally see generally say yes I do try to keep it fresh and exciting and if there's something I don't want to do I just say no you know I yeah. have that that luxury in this day and age to I mean it really has to mean something for me to take time away from I have two teenage sons and um, my family so you know it's hard for me I have to that's the criteria. Is it worth taking the time away from my family? Have you ever regret like saying no? Or do you find that mostly when you've said no, you're, you're, you're happy you stuck with that? Uh, well, I'm sure there are things along the way. Well, there, there are also things that have said no to me. (laughs) (laughs) It's called rejection. Um, (laughs) That has happened once or twice. Um, but I think, you know, I do find, I do have to take a kind of a sensibility of of what is for you will find you and what you're meant to be a part of and I'm so happy that this kind of fell into my lap because I love the movie I think it's just this unapologetic throwback um action thriller I think Frank is so watchable and Eric is strong and Bo Knapp is inc- you can't take your eyes off him in this role yeah it's just yeah. so interesting yeah, it's a fun cast and it's a fun film. And I like that it's an action thriller and it's cool seeing you in that. And I've loved recently all the horror work you've done too, in particular, the Flanniverse uh, st- universe. So is there a genre um, you find right now you have the most joy doing or do you kind of just feel like you you like all of it? Uh, well, I am definitely multifaceted. I never thought that I would be in uh, the horror niche, but back I have I've now done I think like three Stephen King projects and then four Mike Flanagan projects so it's a I guess my sensibility agrees with it um but I'm I will say that maybe between a lot of all of the Flanagan stuff and then recently Mayfair which is which has a horror element too I think I'm a little I, I need to take a little bit of a break from the special effects genre yeah <laughs> just my psyche I've been in a casket more times than I care to be lately so sure um but even just, even yeah. in Little Dixie I you know yeah 
Spoiler. Oh, a spoiler alert. Uh, no, but also too though, have you like with all these different kind of vibes you've done in different genres and things you've ex- experienced, have you ever thought of dipping into writing or directing and doing something behind the scenes? Has ever kind of yeah, tempted you? I, I, yes, I have. Um, I've I've optioned a, a, a novel and written a screenplay for it. And yeah, it's especially in my as my children are get, getting older. Yeah, I definitely want to pursue that avenue next. Yeah, that that that's that's really exciting to hear, and um, I'm also interested too because you mentioned Mayfair, which is so it's an exciting year for you with that, but also that you're going to be in Succession season four. So, do you get as excited to watch these projects you work on as much as the fans? Like, do you like? Will oh, you and yeah. your family watch Succession that Sunday? And like, well, um, I have a hard time watching things that I'm in with other people. Okay. Um, maybe my husband and I will, but, um, and my kids are kind of unimpressed overall. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but I think, no, for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm always very excited when I'm, when I join a show or I'm working on something that has a, uh, I mean, succession is like the most incredible show right now. So yeah, I was, I was very happy to do this little stint. Is there something too, like with doing shows like that, but also with Little Dixie, where you're in this cast with Frank Grillo and Eric Dana, like, I'm, I imagine you guys get close on a film like this, but then like you go your other ways. Like, is there, like, do you, have you learned not to get too close maybe? Is there like a sad thing to that? Well, certainly when I was younger, that was, you, you have to kind of uh, adjust to that ethos because you live these mini lives in a very short amount of time, kind of gypsy lifestyles. Uh, but the one thing that I think, yes, that's true. You get close and then you separate, but, uh, the world is quite small and I've known both Eric and Frank for a long time. And, and I love it when these kind of, you get these like, Oh, Hey, how are you? You know, it's been like, it's just, it recircles back. It's around itself. It's lovely. Oh, I I really like that answer. And, um, the last thing I'm gonna ask you before you go, just about little Dixie too, just as an actress, is there anything that you will take away the most from this experience in Little Dixie when you look back at your career that like stuck with you or will, you'll keep with you? You know, honestly, it was uh, filming in Tulsa with John Swab was a, a treat because it was, again, it, it was exactly what it, they said that it was. It was unapologetically this gritty film. John is super smart. He knows what kind of movie he's making. Frank, I... I loved working with him uh, and I like Tulsa. I would go back to Tulsa in a heartbeat. Yeah, no, that that's really cool. It's cool to hear that you guys filmed in Tulsa. So just all the great information you gave me. This was a great interview and there's a lot to learn from this. So thank you for opening up to me. I really appreciate it. Everybody watch Annabeth Kill It in Little Dixie in theaters and on demand now. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to talk to you in the future. Thank you, Steve. <laughs>